Hi, Ben from Murrow, and today we've decided to put ourselves in your shoes. You've just purchased your Cuddy Mesh router and you're thinking to yourself, where do I start? Today we'll be looking at the Cuddy mobile application, how to download it and how to install it. We'll connect our primary mesh router to our internet and then we'll set up the connectivity between the two mesh routers. All right, let's get started. If you're on Android, head over to Play Store and search for Cuddy. If you're on Apple, head over to the Apple Store and do the same search. Once you see the Cuddy application, simply download it and install it. Once it's installed, we're ready to start. So once you've downloaded the Cuddy application, you can open the Cuddy app and you would be presented with the dashboard. From the get-go, we can set up our devices, but if you would like to log in with your account or you would like to register an account, simply go to the settings at the top right corner and you can click on account. You can create an account or you can simply sign in. In our case, we're just gonna set up the devices without an account. All right, let's go back and let's set up our first mesh router. Okay, at the back of the router, you will see two LAN ports. You would see a WAN port and a LAN port. My internet is coming from my primary router, my primary internet. So this LAN cable will be connected to your router and will be plugged into the WAN port. Once you've connected the LAN cable to the WAN port, we would now need to connect to Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi details can be found at the bottom. You will see the SSID and the password. So let's connect. Once you're connected, the application will automatically discover this M3000. So let's click on the M3000 and now we need to get, give it an administrator password. This administrator password can be anything, but as long as it's eight characters long. So we will use a password of our own and click on confirm. All right, now this router wants to know what it needs to do. Is it a router? Is it an access point? Is it an extender? What do we have to do? In our case, we've connected the cable to the WAN port. So this would be a Wi-Fi router. So let's click on next. Our time zone is all correct. Let's click on next. And this router is gonna send out DHCP IP addresses to Wi-Fi clients. So let's leave it like that. Let's click on next. The SSID, the five gigahertz and the 2.4 gigahertz SSID is all. We can leave it by default. If you would like to change it to your Wi-Fi network, that's perfectly fine. So let's just make sure that we have the correct passwords and click on next. All right, so let's click on apply. And now this router is gonna reboot. Let's wait for it to boot up again so that we can add the second router. So these two mesh routers are not the same. This is an M3000 and this is an M1300. This is not a two pack that you would necessarily buy. The reason we've done it like this is to show you that the configuration between mesh routers, even if it's a different model, remain the same. Our M3000 is now connected, it rebooted, and let's open it up. We can see the Wi-Fi, we can see how many clients are connected, we can set up guest Wi-Fi. All that we would like to do now is mesh our second router. You will see that it's not connected with a cable, this is only power. This is only going to mesh wirelessly with the M3000. So let's give it power and let's start. So our M1300 is booted up and we are now ready to add it to the mesh network. All that we have to do is go to the mesh network tab. You would see our M3000 and we just need to add this one. All we need to do is at the back of the router, we would press the WPS button. Once we press that button once, the light will start flashing and we can click on the plus. We will see our M1300 and click on the plus again, and it's gonna start a countdown. These two will now start meshing and it should be done quite quickly. All right, so just remember to be patient when these two routers are meshing. When they are synchronizing data, they are sharing SSIDs and passwords. So it can take some time and it's sometimes it looks like nothing is happening. Just give it some time. If you don't see your device, you can simply just drag down and let the application refresh. So this router is now meshed with this one. You can see under the mesh network, there are now two devices. And if you click on the arrow, we can get more details, MAC addresses, IP addresses, and so on. But these two routers are now sharing the SSID. 
If you would like to change the SSID, you can still do this. You don't have to do it in the initial setup. Simply go to Wi-Fi and change the SSID to, let's say, Cuddy 5G. And this one could be Cuddy 2G. All right, if you want to change the password, you can still change the password for both 2.4 and 5. Remember, it doesn't have to be the same. And that's it. As you can see, it is very easy to mesh Cuddy routers with each other. If you require any additional support, please open a ticket by sending an email to support at mirror.co.za or give us a call on 012-657-0960. And we'll see you in the next one.